Nintendo Music is the company's latest addition to its line of products, after the release of Alamo in October. I guess it makes sense after the company copyright struck so many channels like Gilvasana for playing their game music that they finally thought, hey, maybe we could just, you know, stream it ourselves? Nintendo Music has been a touchstone of meme culture for many years, as it has influenced the lives of millions, so it's great to see that they've properly recognised the demand for it. It is a shame that they've gone ahead and enforced the need for a Switch Online membership, as it seems like the beloved tracks would do well streamed free outside of a subscription service, but hey, Nintendo is known for their cutthroat monetization policies, so I don't think anyone is too surprised about it. After all, it is highly likely that the customers who already have a Switch Online membership would be the target audience for this particular app launch, so it's not as if they're totally alienating potential customers. It's pretty clear that they've taken heavy inspiration from Spotify, but I do like that they've implemented playlists inspired by certain characters. It's a nice touch for fans of Nintendo games. Of course, video game music is specifically designed to make you focus whilst playing, and so it makes sense that concentrating at the desk is illustrated as a use case in their trailer. Epic video game music playlists on social media have saved the lives of millions over the years, allowing people to chill out with lyricless music designed to improve focus. That being said, the music app also fits neatly into the category of stuff that Nintendo has released whilst their core demographic are waiting patiently for the Switch 2, which has become a meme in its own right similar to the we got this before GTA 6 trend. Unfortunately, there's a lack of credit when it comes to the composers of each track, which is frustrating as it's extremely important to acknowledge the artists that made it all happen. Nintendo's games wouldn't be as good without their iconic soundtracks, and the company recognises this enough to create an entire app centred around listening to them, so it remains to be seen if they write this wrong in the near future. In short, Nintendo releasing a music app is a great way to cater to existing fans who pay for the Nintendo Switch Online membership, but despite this music long being a powerhouse of meme culture, it would seem it still has a ways to go before satisfying everyone. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>